Hello everyone, I am Karthik. In this video, we are going to create this Vellum simulation and uh, we will primarily focus on animated pen to target options. So let's get started. We will start with a geometry network. Let's call it, let's call it sim and color it. Deep dive inside, create a grid. And I want this grid to be of size 3 by 3, 3 meters by 3 meters. And the rows in columns needs to be 2 by 2. So basically what I want is a grid with 4 points. I will create a UV project node because I want a UV texture on my grid. Uh, this is the UV and I'll just flip it here. And this looking nice. I'll create a remesh node because I want to remesh this and we'll change the target size to 0 0.015. So we have lots of points here, lots of triangles which will uh, which will play with the Vellum simulation. So this is it. Now I want to create uh, pin points or pin groups. I want two pin groups, uh, one here uh, at the boundary of this geometry. I want all these points which are at the boundary uh, to come in a group called pin. I'll call that group pin and I'll use these points as pin points. I'll also want another uh, group here in the middle and I want that these group to be of circular shape. Um, these group will have points and these points will be animated and we will turn on the animation option in pin to target section in our vellum simulation in our vellum cloth constraint so this is how will it work so let's get started and let's create a circle first so we will create a circular group this is our circle i'll change the orientation to zx and i'll increase the division to 50. Uh, what i'll do is i'll bring the uniform scale here of this of the sphere and this is too low. Let me just increase the radius. This is, yeah, this is the kind of circle that I want. It is of perfect size. And what I'll do is, I'll use a fuse node. I'll open this arc first in the circle and then I'll use, I'll use the fuse node. So this is what we are getting. After this, I'll use a copy and transform node. And I'll decrease the size to 0 0.5. Okay, so this is looking nice. And now I'll create a sweep node to give geometry to this circle. And I'll use surface type as round. Change the radius to 0 0.015 and this is looking nice. Now we will use a group group node to create our circular uh, group of pinpoints here in our, well, uh, in our geometry. Come to the group and change the group name to pin, uh, the group type to pins, to points. And I'll turn off the base group and I'll turn on the key pin bounding regions. Change the bounding type to bounding object points and vertices and this way we will get our points here. So this is our circular point. It is looking nice. Now what I will do is I'll animate these points in the pen group. I want these points which are here in the circular in the circular group. I want them to animate from top to bottom. I want them to move top to bottom. Okay. Uh, I want to, I want them to move up and then down and then up and then down. So this is going to be, this is going to be a cyclical animation. And what I will first do is I'll just change this frame range to 150 and I'll come to transform and I'll change the come to translate and click right and select motion effects in it. Choose wave. And this is 
the settings that we are get these are the settings that we are getting to play with i'll change the period here let's first play what is happening okay so this is what we are getting the group is going up and then coming down i want to change the amplitude here because i do not want this to go uh, so high or so deep let's change it to 0.2 so yeah this is looking nice this is looking okay i'll change the period because it is moving too fast i don't want it to have these these many waves i do not want these many waves here so what i'll do is i'll change the period decrease the period to 0.66 i'll change the period i'll change the period to 0.66 and i'll come to dk and i also want to increase the dk here what this dk is doing is as it moves forward and as it reaches the final frames uh, the amount of motion is going to be reduced okay so this is nice we'll come to our transform i'll keep this motion of x here it is looking nice now let's create another group and this group is going to be a point group we will call this pin as well and in the initial merge we will change it to union with existing come to include by edges turn it on and click on unshared edges and this way we will get all the boundary points here okay so we have a group called pin which has these points which are which has these points and these points these points the circular points are animated and these points are not so it is looking nice you can play this okay let's move on and create a vellum cloth in the vellum cloth we'll come to pen to animation come to pen points and use pen and we will turn on the match animation as we have some of the points which are animated we want them to follow the animation okay the stretch stiffness and the bend stiffness as i mentioned a lot of times earlier uh, the stretch stiffness gives the cloth or gives this grid the cloth properties which are the stretch stiff the how stretchy the cloth is going to be okay if the, st the stiffness value is too high then it is not going to be very stretchy uh, it is going to be stiff and if the stiffness value is low then it is going to be very stretchy similarly with the bend stiffness uh, this decides how bendy or how foldable this cloth is going to be if the stiffness is too high then it is not going to be bendy at all and if it is too low then it is going to be very bendy we are going to play with the values and find something which will work nicely for us i want this i will come to the stretch, stick, stretch stiffness and i want this cloth to be very stretchy so i'll change the stiffness to 1 by 1 by 1 and i'll increase the rest length here as, as well what this rest length will do is it will increase the uh, the distance between the points okay so we have these points here and what this rest length does when we increase it as as soon as the simulation begins the distance between these two points increases so it behaves differently okay vellum cloth come to bend stiffness and i will increase the stiff um, i want the uh, cloth to be bendy as well so i in decrease the stiffness to 1e minus 7 so the cloth is very stretchy and very bendy and we have our pen points here okay now let's run our vellum solver let's see what happens i'll turn off the gravity in the vellum solver come to vellum solver come to forces and turn on the turn off the gravity uh degree increase the uh, substrate to 4 and let's play our flip book
Okay, so our flip book is done. And as I play this, it is looking fine to me. Let's turn this off. What I want is, I not only want this grid to be uh, get affected by a simulation, I want this to take part in the simulation, but I also want a spear here which will act like a ball and will come down and the grid will push it up. So let's do that and create a sphere. I'll change the polygon type to uh, perimeter type to polygon. Uh, change the frequency to 10 and I'll change the size to 0.35. I want this to be smaller and move it up. 0.8 looks fine. Now let's create a group. Let's call this sphere. I want this to be point and we will use a vellum balloon configure here. So when we use the vellum balloon configure we get two constraints vellum cloth constraint and vellum pressure constraint. The cloth, the cloth constraint as I said earlier it uh, controls the stiffness or the stretchiness and the bendiness or foldability of a cloth. How stretch, stretch the object is going to be and how foldable it is going to be. That is what the cloth constraint controls and in the vellum pressure constraint we control we generate the pressure inside this object and then maintains the pressure inside the object come to vellum cloth constraint come to geometry and apply this specifically to our sphere group okay i want this to be very stiff so stiffness is Hi, I want this to be bendy. So let's make it 0 0.001. Come to volume pressure. I want this to be very, I want to keep the stiffness very high. So it maintains the pressure inside the sphere and I'll keep the rest length to one. Uh, the rest length here increases or decreases the pressure inside the object and the stiffness in the vellum pressure constraint maintains the pressure inside the object. Okay. Come to vellum pressure constraint and apply the group here as well. So all these constraints will be applied specifically to our sphere group. Now we will merge this sphere, the geometry and the constraint with our vellum cloth. Well, apply a vellum pack pack here as well. Both are packed. Let's merge them with the help of merge node, and then unpack them so both the geometry and the constraints are available for our vellum solver. Now connect them. So this is looking fine to me. Inside the vellum solver, create a pop force, and we will specifically apply these for this force to our sphere. And what will be the force? Negative five. So it comes down. It behaves like a. It behaves like a. Or instead of negative five, let's create negative two. It behaves like a, a gravity force for the sphere. Somewhat of a gravity force. Now let's run the flip book and I think this should be it. Okay guys, so I forgot to untemplate the sphere earlier, but this is looking nice and <clears throat> what I can do now, what we can do now is, we'll just use a vellum post process node, we'll get some uh, detail to both these spheres and the cloth here and finally what we can do is we will render this. So 
I'll just close this and use a vellum post process. In the vellum post process, turn on the loop and increase the spatial player to 0 0.285. Now what we can do is we will use a split node and we will split both of them. Just untemplate the sphere. We'll split the uh, cloth geometry and the sphere and we have used our we will use our sphere group here. Okay. I'll invert this. So this side is generating our cloth cloth out and this side will be generating our sphere so sphere sphere out okay now let's create another geometry network we'll call it render sphere let's color it red and I'm coloring it with the help of uh, this color section here you can press C to bring it and I'll call this one render cloth these are going to be our render networks dive inside and create a object merge and I want the cloth sorry the sphere here copy that and paste it here we have sphere and copy this sorry copy this cloth out come to the render cloth use a object merge node and paste this okay so we have our geometry now and we will construct uh, our lighting and our materials for this but we will do that in the next video okay guys so thank you for your patience uh, if you want the project files for this tutorial you can get it on my patreon and uh, there are a lot more tutorials coming coming on youtube and there are going to be some patreon special courses and videos as well so you if you want to join the Patreon, it will be so helpful. Thank you.